consider just how badly the odds are stacked against the world's boards when it comes to doing the tasks we expect of them. This group meets sporadically, and for over a year now, online, with little opportunity to build real group dynamics. The more independent the members, the less day-to-day -day exposure they have to the business, its operations, its people, and its concerns. They lack the budgets, time, information, and administrative resources of management. And the support that they do receive is spared from other company functions. And no matter their vitae, for this particular business, these are amateurs expected to do a professional job. These governance issues are such long-term universals that for decades no one much questioned them. But there can only be so many big, bloody business scandals, with people asking where was the board, before it dawns that we might just be doing corporate governance wrong. Now here's the frustrating part. There are various fixes to this global governance gap. All have been tried in various ways over the decades, but too often the results have been disappointing. The first solution has been director and board education. Business schools, NGOs, professional groups, consultants worldwide have offered education programs for directors and boards as a whole. Some of these have been ongoing for years, are quite prestigious and really thorough. A few years back, some major proxy advisors, such as ISS, gave higher grades to companies that trained their boards, but this policy was soon dropped. Closely related is certification or even licensing of global corporate directors. This remains uncommon though, still it's found in some countries like India. Most often though, this is informal, typically certification that a director passed some of the courses noted above. All of these efforts seem to break down in the real world boardroom. Consider the business portfolio and formal training required to be a certified director. Now, realize that the young founders who built some of the world's biggest unicorn companies lately wouldn't have qualified to serve on their own boards. Also, the lack of regulation or universal standards for director validation means that every program can ensure us that its grads are the boardroom gold standard. Think about the movie Wizard of Oz, with the Scarecrow receiving a diploma, attesting to his brain power, and it automatically made him a genius. Or at least it did on paper. I'm Ralph Ward from The Boardroom for August.